Good morning. Today, we re discussing the current political landscape as the elections approach, particularly focusing on Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign and her response to Donald Trump's recent comments. We have Ian Sams, the Harris campaign spokesperson, joining us to shed light on the key issues at play. Main points, Ian Sams, starts by addressing Trump's controversial remark, labeling the vice president as mentally impaired. Despite receiving pushback from some Republicans, Trump reiterated the insult. Sams emphasizes that such comments divert attention from the issues that truly matter to American voters. He argues that people are tired of Trump's negative rhetoric and are instead seeking substantive discussions on policies that impact their lives. Sams highlights a report released by the Harris campaign that critiques Trump's health care policies, particularly his proposal to place individuals with pre-existing conditions back in to high-risk pools. He warns that this would lead to higher costs and potential loss of coverage for millions, a scenario reminiscent of the pre-Affordable Care Act era. In contrast, he champions Vice President Harris's record, including her efforts to cap insulin prices at $35 for seniors and to expand these protections to all Americans. Moving on to recent events, Sam's notes Trump's remarks in Pennsylvania, where he referenced shoplifting incidents and suggested a harsh approach to law enforcement. Sam's counters this by stating that crime statistics have actually decreased under the Biden-Harris administration. He accuses Trump of creating a dystopian narrative that misrepresents the realities most Americans face. Sams asserts that Harris presents a more hopeful vision for the future, focusing on unity and progress, rather than divisiveness. As the election day nears, Sams suggests that Trump's attacks are motivated by fear, particularly about facing Harris again in debates. He believes the public is growing tired of Trump's insults and is looking for a more positive message, which Harris embodies. Upcoming debate. Looking ahead, Sams mentions the upcoming vice presidential debate between Tim Walls and J.D. Vance, emphasizing it as an opportunity to showcase the contrasting visions for America. He praises Governor Walls as a relatable candidate who will advocate for issues like health care, job creation, and manufacturing. Sam warns that Vance, despite his polished demeanor, is one of the most unpopular candidates in modern history and will struggle to distance himself from Trump's divisive tactics. Conclusion. In closing, Ian Sams expresses confidence that Governor Walz's straightforward approach will resonate with voters. The Harris campaign is committed to addressing the real concerns of Americans, contrasting sharply with Trump's negativity. As we move closer to the elections, it is clear that the choice between these two visions will be pivotal for the future of the country. Thank you for joining us this morning, Ian.